What's up guys, welcome back to the Lean and Mean Academy where we talk about one truck, big profits baby. All right, so today's video is about what size surface cleaner should you get. But before we jump into this, if you're looking to take your pressure washing business from zero to $7,000 a month, you're in that getting started phase, you really wanna understand the first things and the frameworks that you should be doing to launch your business off on the right foot, I urge you to join the ranks of hundreds of our guys around the world who have gotten to the local domination course. It's the course you need to get. Go ahead, it'll be first link in the description, first link in the comments. Guys, I'm here with the Lean and Mean Academy. Welcome back. Three, two, one. And we're trained inside of our minds subconsciously. Look at that. Number one. One. Ah. Hey. Hey. What are you doing, man? Okay, so let me explain to you a little further about how this video is going to be structured. So the first half of this video is going to be about the size of surface cleaner, the gallons per minute, the capability, and the speed. All right, these things are very, very important whenever you're wanting to pick out a surface cleaner. I got a few of them. I've had a few of them back in the old days uh, that I use smaller ones with smaller pieces of equipment, smaller machines, smaller gallons per minute. I'm gonna go over all that on the whiteboard inside, but make sure that you watch all the way to the end so I can show you my exact surface cleaners and you can take a look at them and kind of make your decision on what size machine you got, what surface cleaner you wanna buy. Let's jump into it. All right guys, so when you're picking out a surface cleaner, um, really there's going to be one parameter that you need to think about that is critical, okay? The first thing is gallons per minute of machine is going to equal the capability or the size you're able to get, all right? When you have a smaller machine, like a Ryobi, some like three gallon a minute, two and a half, you're probably gonna have to deal with one of those little 12 inch ones. Um, once you bump up to like a four gallon a minute machine, you'll be able to get like the 19 inch, uh, you know, whisper wash, four GPM right here, 19 inch, maybe a 20 inch, right? After that, you're going to go up to like a 28 inch, usually. There's all different sizes. So if you've been doing this for a long time and there's like a 24 inch that I didn't list, just go ahead and comment it below just for the engagement sake because I know you want to be heard. Um, <laughs> here we go. So 28 inch is going to be like an eight gallon per minute minimum. And then they go to like 36, which is eight gallons minimum eight to 10 gallon a minute, right? And then they'll go to, you know, the big 49 inch Mondo's. The Mondo right there, man, that's a big old Mondo. That's a big old Mondo right there, man. All right, and that's gonna need like a 10 gallon per minute minimum, all right? So the gallons per minute is going to equal the size capability with your surface cleaner. Now. If you're doing like the, the two and a half GPM, like the little Home Depot special, you're probably gonna have to get one of those little Dewalt or little Simpsons, and uh, maybe it's a 12 inch or a 16, a 16 inch maybe, right? Here's the thing about gallons per minute and size capability, right? A four gallon a minute could probably run the 16 for sure but it's gonna struggle with the 28. That's a long bar that four gallon a minute is trying to push. It's gonna go really slow. And even if it could clean, it would probably be so slow that it would be even slower than these because you could just move faster, right? The bar is spinning much, much faster. So you have to think about bar speed when it comes to these because if you're trying to run a four gallon a minute on a 36 incher, Dude, it's, it, it might be able to push it, maybe, but it's going to be inching along, 
Does that make sense? So your flow is going to determine your, your size here, all right? And so the 10 gallon a minute is those 49 inches. Some guys like that. Um, I think that's if you're going to do big, big concrete, commercial concrete, sidewalks all the time, night work, stuff like that. Get your 10 gallon a minute and go ahead and do it. But hopefully, you know, this kind of explains uh, what type of surface cleaner, what size you may need to get. Obviously, an eight gallon a minute can come back here and do these. You know, I wouldn't put it on a 16. That you could, but I just wouldn't. And an eight gallon could definitely probably do the 36. You know, but that's, you know, you're starting to slow down a bit. Some guys will Siamese two eight gallon a minutes together, creating 16 gallons per minute. And that could run either of these very, very easily. Obviously, you're going to have to have a tank if you're running that kind of stuff because no water spigot's ever going to feed that fast. So hopefully, this gives you a little diagram really quickly on what size surface cleaner your machine would have the capability. Obviously, five gallon per minute is in here, and it could probably run these here. It's going to be a little sluggish on the 28, for sure. And if there's 24, possibly a little sluggish on that. You're probably going to want to keep the five gallon at the 20 and 19 incher. All right. So if you're digging this content, guys, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I hope you guys are killing it in your business. You're ready to go into winter time right now. I'm rooting you on. Don't forget WashCon Live, the event, the number one pressure washing business event on earth with Cody Yarbrough, Mike Vidan, Justin Rogers, and myself. This is an event you don't want to miss. I'll also put the link in the description for that. Let's go down to the basement and then out to the truck to check out my rigs. What's up guys? All right, so we're down here in my basement. You were getting the eyeballs on the first washer. Look at that dude, looks brand new. It's cause I, uh, I used it for about a year <clears throat> and then I upgraded to Mad Max. It's a Simpson four gallon 4200 PSI. PSI doesn't have anything to do with what we're talking about today, but this was my first surface cleaner right here and i think it's like a 16 inch dewalt man i think that's what that is it might be an 18 maybe but dude it was slow as dirt i mean this machine will push it and it did a good job but i have to be honest with you these surface cleaners i'm about to show you are light years ahead of this guy right here um but it got it done hey it made me some money and it's hung up now as a uh a, a, a memento of the old days all right guys we're out here by mad max right here i have my 19 inch whisper wash classic um this is my favorite one this yellow one right here uh the reason i love this is because with an eight gallon a minute machine this thing just floats and i don't even have to use a weight some guys like to put a weight right here but mine floats perfect. The flow is great and I can be really, really fast with it and get into tight little nooks and crannies and it's, it's not an issue. If I was doing more commercial property, I would go over here to the big guy. And I think this one's like a 28. I think it's a 28 inch big guy. Now, I have to be completely honest with you. I don't love the 28 inch thing. All right, I gotta be honest. And the, there's two reasons. One is because it's just slower to me. Yeah, it does cover more area, but the bar speed is just a lot slower and I don't like the lower speeds. I like to be very, very fast with this 19. And your feet will get super wet because there's nothing, it's like water is thrown out here whenever you're you're running your machine and it hits you right in the feet and even if you're wearing like waterproof shoes or whatever it still gets on your legs so there needs to be like a a piece of plastic here or something to kind of you know block that but that's not the case and i don't like having super wet feet i'm talking about like sloshing in my uh my huck boots so if you were going to get one, you got a five gallon a minute, four gallon a minute machine, I would just go ahead and grab the Whisper Wash Classic, this 19 inch right here. This is the staple of my brother's business, my business, and this guy right here will just last you a long time. They do take some abuse and you may have to replace this top. I've broken a few of them just from rocks slinging and, you know, 
just damage. It's, they, they are composite, they're not metal, which is fine, it doesn't matter. It's still very, very tough. But um, over, you know, four, four years, I've only had to uh, replace this one time. So, so they do take a little bit of damage. But get the 19 inch. I would skip out on the 28. I just have to be honest with you, I don't like it. <laughs> if anybody wants to buy it off of me, let me know. <laughs> um, I, I, I wanted to get it. I wanted to like it. Maybe guys who do a lot, a lot, lot more concrete than I do would like that. I do a lot more house washing, a lot more roof cleaning. So this is the one. I do clean driveways, but if you got a four, five, eight gallon, grab this, have this on the truck, and then think about upgrading if you're going to do it. So guys, I hope you got something out of this video about surface cleaners. Maybe you learned like what size you can use, what size your machine has the capability to use, right? Some of you guys are still using small machines, which is fine. If you're just getting started, you can get those at Home Depot, right? But if you're gonna go, you know, level up, go ahead and get you a 19 and think about the 28, right? Some guys love it, I realize. If you love, if you love the big guy, put your love for the big guy. Comment below, big guy, and uh, I'll give you a heart, give you a thumbs up. It just wasn't for me. So I hope you dig the channel. Subscribe and give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Wow.